The WRC is a motorsport like no other. The cars run on all different types of surface and need to be adapted and set up to suit them, from the super smooth tarmac of France to the gravel and jumps of Finland. Or, in this case, from the snow and ice of Rally Sweden to the rough rocks and ruts of Rally Mexico. So, as the cars travel from the freezing conditions of Scandinavia to the heat, altitude and rough roads of Guanajuato, how do the cars change? Volkswagen Motorsports Technical Director Francois Xavier de Maison, or FX for short, explains all. Going from uh, Sweden Rally to Mexico Rally, the main difference is the tyre. We can see that in Sweden it's mainly a stud holder. Uh, when we go to Mexico, then it's a proper uh, tyre with rubber. You know, you have a different pattern with blocks and uh, a lot of grooves to just evacuate all the loose gravel and get to the driver, I mean, a good grip. But the grip is coming just from the rubber and the blocks, not from the stud like in Sweden. It's also a very rough rally, so we have a lot of reinforcement on the side to avoid puncture. Because in Mexico, compared to Sweden, the temperature is much higher, we have to run in Mexico a much bigger radiator than the one we use in Sweden. This radiator will allow the engine to run a much lower temperature, which is a really important factor in, in, in Mexico, compared to Sweden, where the cold temperature just allows us to run a very small radiator to get the engine in the right temperature. The other, I would say, main difference between um, Sweden and Mexico is in Sweden, because of the snow, that the car can be stuck in a ditch. By rules, we need to carry two shovels in the car. That will be a big help for the driver and the co-driver to dig the car out of the ditch if they really need. But for Mexico, this is definitely not to use, and we just throw it away.